Welcome back to Dyson Sphere program, folks. In the last one, we started building our Dyson Sphere. We are still launching rockets. I haven't done anything really in that regard in between episodes. Uh, we are up to 404 megawatts. We have completed uh, a node. Actually, I think we've completed two, yeah. So we've completed this node here, 790 points. And we've completed this node here. 410. This one's almost done. Uh, this one is almost done. And this one has just started. It's about halfway there. So, yeah. We're making progress and we're getting more and more power out of the Dyson Sphere. So, I have decided to go to Mars 1. Uh, I have set up a little power generation up here and I have pulled power so this is the North Pole and I have pulled power all the way down to the South Pole where we're going to set up some ray receivers now here on Mars 1 we have some very nice ores we have kimberlite ore we have fractal silicon we have optical grading crystals we have a lot of iron and copper, a lot of titanium. So it's quite a nice planet, actually. Now, uh, we're going to need a tower here in the center, like so. And I am going to request, uh, first of all, uh, actually, let's do that up at the other one. Whoops. Ah! Why can't I get out of this? There. Uh, I'm gonna request some foundations. Man, some of those. Now. We want to have our ray receivers here. Now, if someone knows what this means, uh, orbital resonance one of four. Uh, I looked it up. I was looking at it on uh, Reddit and other places. And there were some people uh, trying to explain it, but they didn't explain it in the way that I understood. So, if you can explain me what orbital resonance 1 of 4 means, I would highly appreciate it. Uh, let's actually... Uh, I think we can request ray receivers as well. Uh, let's request 100 of those. Uh, maybe I can't. Or maybe... Once one of these is done... It'll bring some, but we have five on us, which is not a lot, but we have some. So let's try, uh, first of all, powering this bad boy. And let's try setting up some of these. So if we stick one... Here. 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 And here. And that's four. Uh, now, we can either do power generation or photon generation. And what we want to do is photon generation. Because that generates these critical photons. So we're going to want critical photons in here, I think. Because those are needed for the antimatter. The antimatter is needed for the antimatter fuel rod. And then we need these annihilation constraints spheres as well for the antimatter fuel rods and that'll mean that we can utilize these guys the artificial stars 
So let's change all these to photon generation. Let's see, did we get any yet? We have zero there, we have two there. Uh, so we can supply graviton lenses. So let's request graviton lenses. We'll request. Let's start with five hundred. And we'll do these guys. Local demand remote storage. Now we're going to need to get a belt around here, I guess. Ooh. These can actually... Ooh. Very nice. So what we could do is just run it in like that. So there. From these four, but that four is not going to be anywhere near enough, of course. Uh, we're going to need a lot more. I, I'm pretty sure I am making ray receivers back home, but maybe they're not being sent anywhere. Uh, hmm. So how do we want to do this? I think I'll just quickly take that out. If we do something like this. And then do something like this. Then we'll have them going round and round. Uh, did you get? Did you get? No. Okay. Does any, everyone have an output? Nope. Yeah, you do. Everyone has an output. All right. So then we can stick them in there. I did have one more of these, so let's stick you. Uh, oh, there's not room for them here. I don't want it up there. So I guess we'll move out. Stick it there. Is there then room for one of these? There is. And you can come out. And then... We need to find a good place to come up. Like... Here, for instance. Okay. And you do photon generation as well. Uh, I guess graviton lenses are not being supplied either. Hmm. So the graviton lens would 
increase the production rate of these. Uh, let's see, did we get our... We did. I have so much stuff on me, I may need to make a storage box some, uh, or something, I think. So, let's see, will you come out? Yes, you will. Okay. Just want to do another trip around, that's fine. This is pretty cool. Alright, so let's just cover this. And I suppose we could do it with concrete. I suppose we could do it with concrete. It might look nice. Alright, well, we're producing these. We have 76 of them. So... That means that we could start making antimatter. Can't find antimatter in here. Do this. So antimatter arm is made from those. It's basically one a second, and it also produces hydrogen. Okay. I think I want to produce that on mass too though Jesus 10 10 antimatter and 10 hydrogen to produce one antimatter fuel rod you know what uh, I think uh, I'll head back and see about graviton lenses and uh, ray receivers. Uh, how the hell do we do graviton lenses into here? Is this uh, is this a uh, port as well? It is okay. All right, so we just need to move this out a little bit too close. Alright, fine. I'll head back to Iota Buddhas. Oh, look at that. It's being built. It is being built. I love it. And rockets are flying. Okay, so where is Iota Buddhas? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Let's go. Okay, here is Iota Buddhist. The mess of a planet. <laughs> the mess of a planet. Right. Oh, we landed right next to where our graviton lenses are being produced. But they're not being produced because we don't have strange matter. This is bad, because that means that we're running low on Space Warper. Okay, strange matter. Where are you being made? Uh, not there, I think it's over here. Yep. Let's go take a look at that. What are you missing? You are missing particle containers. Uh, 
And what a particle container is missing. Well, that's not particle containers. That's particle containers. They are missing graphene. What is so... Graphene, what do you need? Uh, wh where are we making graphene? Um, not there. There. I guess graphene is missing fire ice. Yep, there's a thousand inbound, but that's not gonna cut it. All right, uh, let's before we head to Iota Buddhist Four, let's take a quick look at ray receivers. Where am I making ray receivers? I'm pretty sure I am. Maybe I'm wrong. So that's those. Am I seriously not making ray receivers here in guess not. Okay. It's chemical plants. We have room for, to get ray receivers in here, but what do they need? Okay. Wow, they need five products. Okay, 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 okay. So that's something that we'll have to set up as well. Okay. Uh, we'll do that, but right now we need to do something about those graviton lenses. So where is, where's the sun? Where's the sun? Go to Buddhist one. Where's I go to Buddhist four? There. All right. Let's head over there. And where is our production here? Titanium, fire ice, that's why it is running very, very low. All right, fine. Let's take a look and see where is there a good amount of fire ice. Fire ice, fire ice. Fire ice. Okay. You're doing using the turn fuel rods for power. That's fine. You can do uh, fire ice as well. Alright, let's mine up these two fire ice veins. Mm, gathering. Uh, There we go. It's better. And we even have two gas giants providing fire ice as well, but 
that's not enough. Apparently. We do need to change the production method of our space warpers as well, because there is a much more efficient recipe than using our uh, graviton lenses. Okay, and you were fire eyes. Yes, you need space warpers. Ooh, we don't have space warpers here. At all. Alright, then we'll say... 500, and say local supplier remote. Man. I don't understand why they're bringing so many. Oh, wait. I do want this to be 100%, that's fine. I suppose I could just set up another tower, I think mean, it's not like we're hurting for towers. Right. Let's set up a tower there. You clear that. And then do 10%. Okay. Power. There. And let's do some fire ice gathering. Oops. And there. Power. Uh, you'll be uh, fire ice, uh, remote supply, local storage, uh, space warper, 100 local demand, remote storage. Get some of you, some of you. Okay, more fire ice. Fire ice a second coming in here. That should help us up. Okay. There's another fire ice vein here. So we could just say fire ice. You need space warpers. these so let's just get a bunch of fire ice going so it'll be a while before we have that problem again Uh, 
go remote supply local storage all righty uh, remote supply all right well, that's more fire ice. And let's see if we'll send out a thousand. Nope. I guess that means that we are supplied up with uh, fire ice. Okay, back to Iota Buddhist One. Or three, sorry. Iota Bootus three. And we are very nearby. We're almost home already. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I also set up a bit more. Uh, filling up of accumulators. It's 50 here. Why are you not doing anything? Because you're going the wrong way. that. Alright, let's see if that gets our graphene production going. Uh, we are producing graphene here. Nope, that's carbon nanotubes. Here. Our graphene production is going. Fire ice is coming. Yep. And graphene. Well, that's uh, hydrogen. Graphene is going down here. And we're not making anywhere near enough of it. But we are getting some, which is better than not getting any. So we could, because we are making a lot of graphene over on the other planet, so we could remote demand it as well. But I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, what's this that's full here? Well, that's the carbon nanotubes, okay. So that's good. That means that we're not really using that much of uh, the carbon or the graphene for this. And that's a good thing. Because we need it for the... Uh, I haven't even torn out all of the old bus yet. Um, where are we making the... Um, here. Whoa. I think we need it to go this way. Diamond should be fine. Mm, 
Where the heck was it? That's not it. Where? There they are. They're behind us. Here we go. Uh, we are producing some. Alright, we have some of these inbound, so that's good. That's very good. Alright. Let's take a look at... ...our strange matter. It's getting some particle containers now. Particle containers are getting some graphene. Let's take this up to 1500. So, yeah. All right, so it's better better. There's a particle container. Hey, where are you going? Oh, it's going over here. Alright, so we're producing again, which means that we'll be getting space warpers. But I think we need to scale up our graphene production significantly because we're going to need a lot of these graviton lenses. And I mean a lot. So... Yeah. I think that is going to be a project over on Mars 2. And we're going to set up and get a bunch of graviton lenses going. So first, uh, particle containers, then strange matter, and, and diamonds, and... Uh, let's take a look here. Particle containers. Un unipolar magnets might be nice to get. Then we don't need graphene or turbines. Hmm. We might have to go seek out some unipolar magnets. Now they're only on neutron stars and black holes. And I think we have one of each in the game. So I don't know how how much there is. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, let's zoom out here. Look at the traffic between Mars and Iota Buddhist. A lot of traffic. So we have... Uh, where's the neutron star? This one? No. Nope. There it is. The neutron star. And it has unipolar magnets. Look at it go. And then there's also a black hole somewhere, which also has, there it is, unipolar magnets. So the black hole is closer, so we might go to that. 
I think that's the only two that are. So we might go to the black hole and check that out. Wonder. Now, this poor star is so far away from everyone else. And you have nothing interesting. What about white drawers? Nope, no unipolar magnets. Nope. Okay. Well, I think we'll uh, prob probably head to the black hole in the next one to try and get some unipolar magnets for our graphene. Uh, uh, not graphene. Uh, particle container production. Because. That would help a lot. That would help a lot. Are you going now? Slowly, but you're going. So that's good. And you have all the optical grain crystals you need. But I do actually think that when this is going, we're perfectly capable of keeping up. But look at that Space Warper uh, recipe. Let's have a quick look. So we have this one, which takes a Graviton lens. And then we have this one, which... And this is uh, one to one. The green... Uh, science is one to eight. So it's well worth switching over to doing that even though it takes a quantum chip as well it's still well worth it we could actually switch these over as we have uh, if we look up here, uh, green science. We have a few green science available. Just need to get them out. Look at that. How many graviton lenses there are there? 5,000. So, yeah. Switch over to doing green matrixes into space warpers. I think that's something I want to do. Because it's just way more cost efficient. Let's look at this mess. It's insane. But anyway, we are going to have to do all these things uh, in some future episodes, guys. Because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.